Hi, this is Sean with Crew Dog Electronics, and I'm going to show you how to install the Danger Zone patch to your Stratix unit. Now, the purpose of the Stratix Danger Zone patch is to get the AHARS to work properly in ForeFlight. And you might be wondering why AHARS doesn't natively work in ForeFlight. Well, the answer is here in this little Reddit uh, thread on the Stratix page. Basically, the Stratix transmits AHARS data over a GDL90 protocol, and this is a common way that it transmits and Programs such as WingX, iFly, FlyQ have all adopted this common protocol and accepted the data from Stratix over it. But um, companies like Garmin and ForeFlight use a proprietary protocol because they would prefer people to only buy products in their ecosystem and therefore they block it. But not to worry, there's a workaround that has been developed called the Danger Zone patch. So to download this, you're going to go to uh, builds danger zone and I'll put the link here down in the comments and you'll want to click on the most recent patch so you can see here the date uh, November 18th so we'll click on that and download it and it should be a fairly quick process and that will go to your downloads now while this is downloading you're going to want to power up your Stratix unit um, because what you're going to do next is connect to the Stratix Wi-Fi network so after this finishes here it's done I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi networks connect to Stratix, and then I'm going to connect to the Stratix settings page. So you're going to go to 192.168.10.1, and that'll bring up this status page here. You're going to go click on settings, and down at the bottom here, click to select system update file. You'll select that, and go to your downloads, and you'll see the file you downloaded here. And now notice here in the beginning, or sorry, at the end of the file, you have this identifier AOD9A. Um, pay attention to that because when we update, we'll be looking for that up at the status screen to make sure the patch was applied correctly. So we'll tap that, and then we see it down there. We'll tap it again to install. We should get a little prompt. Success, wait 60 seconds. So now what's going to happen is it's going to apply the patch. You'll see your Stratix unit power off and then power back on, and then when it comes back up, it'll turn into a green connected and you'll see this version will change to the 1.4 revision 3 with the AOD and that lets us know that we've had the danger zone patch applied. So my unit is powering down and rebooting waiting for it to come back up. Now the unit has gone through and cycled a couple times and powered back up and I've got the solid green and solid red light telling me that the software is up and running and uh, it should be broadcasting on Wi-Fi. So I'll tap my Wi-Fi networks and select Stratix, and it should go ahead and connect again. All right, now the unit's booted back up. We can see we've got the green connected light. And up here on the version, it says 1.4 revision 3 AOD, so it's applied that patch that we installed earlier. And so now the danger zone patch is applied, and it should work with AHARS and ForeFlight. Now, note that because this is kind of a workaround patch, it might be a little bit choppy in ForeFlight, and that's totally normal. I've got another video that you can look on how to calibrate your AHARs uh, because it's only set up initially to be on the left side, and so there's some calibration you can do to make it uh, a little more reliable. The other thing you can do is you've actually got into a situation where you needed to rely on the AHARs data. You can tap on the GPS AHARs tab, and you can see this needs to be leveled out. But some people will fly with an, another iPad, and have this tab up and zoomed in because it allows you to see the AHARS data raw from the Stratix unit without interpreting it through your EFB software. So that's it. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment or contact me on the website or send an email. Thanks for watching.